Uh, hello, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a rapid fire missile launcher shotgun. And to do this you just need a missile launcher, a combat shotgun, and a submachine gun. First of all you're going to have to make a powerful receiver for the submachine gun and just switch back to a standard. And make sure all these mods are on the combat shotgun. And then you're going to have to rename the submachine gun to um, zero and the combat shotgun to one. Then you press R and E at the same time to scrap and modify it. Almost. Takes a couple of tries. Yeah, and then when you get this glitch screen, press enter and go in and equip the powerful receiver. Okay, the first step is complete. And now we will just make a another quick save and rename the missile launcher to zero and then you'll have to equip the targeting computer to the missile launcher you need those perks and unequip it and I will make one more save because if you stuff up you can just reload then and then you basically have to press R and E at the same time and as just after you do that, move your mouse down to around here. Yes, now we have this glitch screen, press enter. And then equip the target computer. And now I need a wide open space to test this thing out. So, Bedford Station probably is a good idea. And since I killed all the super mutants and all the gunners, which is the main testing areas, I have to use console commands to spawn in some super mutant warlords, probably, because they're the tankiest. Just gotta get a wide open space so I can spawn them in. Oh yeah, I'm going to equip this weapon now. And this is how it looks like. And this is how many missiles it shoots. Eight missiles at once. And it just mag dumps like that. <laughs> you can see how ridiculous this is. Okay, now I just got to have to do my console commands. Just give me a sec, I'm reading off my phone. Go away, Lena! Lucky I have no companions because this is. I want to be insane. You can even lock on to enemies. Okay, I'm going to spawn in something even bigger and tankier. A Myla my, uh, Queens, but I'll spawn in a few.
maybe that wasn't a good idea at all. Uh, jet, quantums, like in Fallout 76 PvP. <laughs> but this will truly show. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay then, I still have this weapon because it must have made an autosave. And that is way too many Milo Queens, way too many. I'm going to have to do five instead. Or ten actually. <laughs> you can kill yourself really easily, as you can see with that gun. Even 10 might be, I might do 8. Let's see if I can get out of this awkward position with some jet. Run as far away as these people, these queens as possible. to get a clear shot of this. And as you can see, slow motion missiles are so cool. Are they all dead? Almost. You can lock on. I'll try to... Yeah, they're all dead now. Well then, as you can see the this weapon is pretty overpowered. Those set Oh, I almost killed the settlers. Luckily I didn't. <laughs> Otherwise Preston will hate me forever. Oh yeah, that is the video. And if you want to make this yourself, and you're on PC, it's just very easy, just do what I did. If you're on console, you have to be really, really precise with when you pull down on the left stick. And I did it once on PS4 version, but it took me like about one and a half hours of trying. So it's extremely difficult to pull this glitch off on console, but on PC it's very easy. And it, you can kill yourself easy, but it's a really fun and wacky way.